In the last video, we wrote down a full algorithm to find out the logic behind checking whether what we are typing is correct or not. So in this video, let's go forward and implement it. So first of all, I am going to, irrespective of the case, I am going to find out the number of characters and the number of words which I am typing. So characters uh, is going to be input value dot length, of course, uh, L-E-N-G-T-H, yes. So the number of characters which I have typed, as simple as that. And the number of words is just going to be input value dot split of space so whenever there is a space it's going to split it and we will have an array so this is very simple we are going to have an array and i'm just going to find the length of that particular array. as simple as that no hard and fast rule no uh, rocket science going here now i'm going to find out the index as well the index is going to be nothing but the characters minus one. So this is our input value basically, the input value. If I'm typing my, my is the input value. So here the characters is my dot length, which is two. The words is one because there's just one element in this array. And index is nothing but since the index starts from zero, so index is characters minus one, as simple as that. And so now let's first handle the underflow case. The underflow case says that if index is less than zero, what we are going to do here, we are basically going to simply set our new state with the updated test, let, test info, where the letter, this letter, the first letter basically, should be not attempted. In the underflow case will happen when? When, when I backspace this, particular thing. So when I backspace this, the index is going to be zero characters, number of characters is zero, and it's going to become zero minus one. So all we need to do that here in this case is set the first letter status as not attempted. Otherwise, we could also just go through the every character and then set every character as not attempted. But in this case, I think it should be okay. I know there is one case where it will go wrong when user types something let's say hello world and then select all and then backspace in that case we would definitely want to set set all of them as not attempted but let's not worry about that that's just an edge case i know that you guys are good in programming and you can handle that so for now let me just set the first letter as not attempted how i'm going to do that very simple so firstly let's open the curly braces and test info inside the test info inside the array i am going to very simply do something very very easy the first letter the first letter is my m and inside that i am going to use the test letter and will set this test letter as this dot state dot test info of zero dot test letter so this is something very easy to understand right because so the first letter is just becoming let me uh, refresh it the first letter is becoming the first letter from that is saved in the state nothing more nothing less the test letter is the same as the first test letter which is saved inside our state but the status is going to be not attempted yes as simple as that and now for the rest of things very very easy i'm just going to use this uh, read more about this rest and spread operator what i'm going to do is i am just going to spread out all the array elements that are present in our state inside this new array that i'm creating so i'm just going to do this dot state dot test info but there's one more one wrong thing here what if so basically in this case we are adding one extra element so this is a simple simple example of uh, just it what it will do is it will just iterate over each array element and put it inside this array so now the first letter is going to get repeated we don't want that in if we just leave it like that we will just have the first letter repeated and it will become m m y name is mother so all we need to do is slice that array and with the index of one. 
now it should be good enough and then we can set the characters as characters and the words as words number of characters and the number of words so congratulations we have actually handled the underflow case now what to do handling the overflow case let's get on to it let's handle the overflow case again this there is one big mistake in this one which is in case the user selects everything and presses backspace in that case only m will get not attempted and others will be remaining the same so that is something uh, that you can easily fix by iterating over each test info letter and then set it as not attempted but then again um, this is very very simple and i think that you can probably take it as a, an, as an exercise or as an assignment to practice what you are learning now the second case is the overflow case let's handle the overflow case as well overflow will happen when index is greater than equal to this dot state dot selected paragraph dot length so the selected paragraph dot length is the length of our this particular paragraph if the index grows greater than that what we need to do is we need to do nothing and directly return but we need to definitely we can update the number of characters and words because the user is still typing we don't want to hide his typing speed so yes we will update the characters and the words number of characters and number of words we did a simple mistake here it should be inside the brackets yes this is very simple and one more thing i did one more mistake here so inside the underflow case we should also early exit because if it's underflowing we don't need to go further so what we can do here is we can just simply return so these are some basic things that you might have learned in your high school or your college so now now comes the big logic the big handling the backspace and handling the status in the test in one how are we going to do that follow me very very simple firstly because we need to have um, a single element that single element can be anywhere in the in the array of test letters so firstly let's do one thing let's make a copy of test info so i'm going to name it test info itself and i'm going to set it as this dot state dot test info so now we have the copy of test info that was originally present in our state and now we have the copy inside this particular variable so now i'm going to handle one important case where let's go back mark the index plus one element as not attempted but don't forget to check for the uh, for the overflow case so here i am going to check for the overflow case so i am going to simply write if not index is equal to equal to overflow case which is this dot state dot selected paragraph dot length minus one so basically i know we could have reused the variables here or if you want i can but yeah that's something very simple so in case if it's not overflowing basically then we can simply simply update the test info of index plus one and set it as the status of it as not attempted and then so this was the first case which is handle the backspace so now we have also handled the backspace so in case the user presses backspace i will just irrespective so even if the user does not presses backspace i can simply a lot a not attempted status of uh, the status of not attempted to my index plus one the array that is the letter that is present at index plus one so now that we have handled setting the status as not attempted let's handle the cases where the user is typing correct so now check for the correct typed letters so very simply i'm going to allot it to a boolean variable and i'm going to say is correct and when will it be correct when it will be correct when index uh, input value of index is going to be equal to test info of the same index keep this in mind of the same index dot test letter 
so this is very very simple so let's say if i start typing my so if i type y the let the index is 1 the index is 1 so input value of 1 which is y should be equal to test info of 1 which is this one dot test letter y so yes this is very simple and now let's update the test info how do we do that very very simple let's update the test info as test info dot index the element present at that particular index inside test info and let's update the status of that particular thing to be if it is correct is correct then we are just going to type it as correct otherwise we are going to type it as incorrect and that is super simple and now finally just one last thing remaining update the state how do we do that this dot set state and inside this dot set state i am going to pass on test info the words and the characters let's check it out whether it's running or not my name is madhav and let's press backspace and it works amazing it works super awesome and now before before closing this particular video let's do one more thing let us use the api let us find the paragraphs from the api instead of using the sample paragraph how can we do that very very easy let's just uncomment this and let's just move all of this thing so this is the thing where we are actually finding that initial test info the initial categorization into not attempted let's cut it out and paste it inside the area where we have access to the data so once we need to find the test info only after we have the data right it's as simple let me again clarify so as soon as component will mount basically as soon as the component will mount we are going to make an api call we are going to find the result as soon as we find the result which is the information what we are going to do is we are going to split that particular information not from this dot state or selected paragraph but from our data so it will be data dot split and then we are going to map it into a test info and then we are going to update the state with test info and selected paragraph selected paragraph will be equal to data as simple as that this is very very easy and we are done with our application i am so 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 happy with this let's quickly refresh this and try it out so for the next 60 se uh, seconds i'm not going to type it i'm just going to skip it to 60 seconds so i skipped most of the time in between so as you can see here now i just have two words written and seven characters two words seven characters and the speed is two words per minute it's completely accurate and now i have the test results which i can share on twitter and share on facebook as well so this is something super cool in the next video now that we have finally developed our application in the next video we are going to do some small changes which is retrying enabling the retry option and then deploying our application